Hello Psycho Killers, I hope you are very well. What I am doing is because today I want to make a video that I have been thinking about for several months and that I have finally put on today, that we are going to call it the beaten dog technique. This manipulation technique is for you to really understand how the narcissist lives the relationship with you. What you understand is a romantic, sentimental relationship, to see how he is living it from the inside and what he is really looking for in a relationship with you. I am going to ask you an exercise of imagination so that you try to see yourself metaphorically as if you were dogs or bitches within the relationship, which is how the narcissist sees you, either unconsciously on his part or consciously, but he does. What he is looking for is to satisfy a very specific question that I am going to explain at the end of this video so that there is no doubt. So without further ado, let's go to the nougat. Well, psychop killers, as I was saying, the dog's technique has shoveled. In order to begin to understand how the relationship with a narcissist works, you have to do a mental recreation identifying yourselves metaphorically as if you are a puppy or a puppy, a very rich dog, I love animals, and if I eat the narcissist on duty was your owner or your owner, and you were in the narcissist's new house, where the narcissist on duty has put you inside a room and has put the typical fence that is placed on the door so that pets do not have access from one dependency to another. He has put that door for you and then in the rest of the rooms he obviously has other doors for other pets or other puppies and puppies that he has inside the house, but none of the pets he has has access to the dining room or the living room, since they, they are divided individually into rooms. So you, like a puppy, when you have started the relationship with the narcissist or the narcissist has taken you and has you stuck there in the little room, you are an innocent, happy, playful person, you are always happy in your crib, with your prizes. And the narcissist at first is half excited about his new pet and is happy. Then he will give you prizes, he will try to be happy with you, he will call you, he will play with you, he will buy you toys. A few days later, the narcissist will begin to get a little bored. It will no longer stimulate him so much to play with you and the doll, throw the ball and have you bring it to him. Ta-da! He will begin to enter a little with a feeling of existential emptiness. Some things will happen to him inside the house or outside the house that make him feel bad sometimes, and he will begin to recreate a mental game within himself and in an egotistical way and without think nothing of you as a pet, of how to continue enjoying yourself and having fun with you. In this situation that we are discussing, the narcissist will arrive one day with a prize, he will pass it over the door opening your hand with it and he will tell you, eat from here Bobby, eat your prize. When you get close and you're sucking the treat, he'll slap you. I primarily work with victims of emotional abuse who are experiencing psychological abuse. Yes, it is true that I have also handled cases of physical abuse, but in this case, psycho pillars. In this metaphor that I want you to represent within yourselves, Although the slap that we are simulating so that it can be seen graphically, which is as if you were a puppy or a puppy or a female dog, the metaphorical representation is that it is an emotional slap. What happens is that we are going to represent it in a physical way in this fable or this story that I am telling you so that you understand in a graphic and very easy way what is happening. We continue. You, as a puppy, have suddenly seen what has happened. You are innocent. You do not understand very well and you will go to a corner of the room to cry. To ask yourself what has happened. Why did the owner hit me? Perhaps that I did not behave well. I don't quite understand what I have done wrong in the narcissist, since he already has the confidence on your part that you have removed your protection shield that you are vulnerable that you are innocent, knows perfectly well that a bad act on his part or a bad this gesture will have an emotional impact on you and that's when the narcissist starts playing with your emotions, your feelings and starts entertaining you. The next day the narcissist will appear with a prize, you will be in the corner of the room and suspiciously, like a puppy, you will get closer little by little with a sad face, saying well I understand that yesterday will be a misunderstanding and that the narcissist will be the same as always, the one I have always known, my favorite master, with whom I had such a precious relationship. I understand that yesterday will be a failure of the narcissist. The narcissist will show up with another treat, you'll suck it up and that's fine. The next day the narcissist will appear with another prize, you will suck it, you will eat it, so far good, the next day, the next day and when approximately 7 days have passed, you are confident again and you have forgotten the previous slap, the narcissist will give you a treat and when you get close he will plash you. In this way, psycho killer, you will stay like a stunned puppy, at the end of the room, sat again, he has done it to me again, what happened? I have not done anything wrong, 
Why this to me? The narcissist will let a day go by where he does not appear. Two days, three days, giving you silent treatment and on the fourth or fifth day he will appear with a prize and tell you bad dog, bad dog, come here, nothing has happened, eat the prize yourself. Knowing that the narcissist has already slapped you twice in the face, you will remain suspiciously in the corner of the room. But the narcissist will intelligently give you another prize, then another prize, then another and the prizes or the promises they make you will have the within the relationship. The first prize is that he will be committed to you. The second prize is that he will not be unfaithful. The third prize is that it will put you first in front of the rest of the people. The fourth prize is that it will never hurt you again. And you, who have idealized your master because at the beginning of the relationship he played so much with you, bought you so many prizes, scratched your tummy, caressed your back, you want to return to the previous sensations generating within you the dopamine neurotransmitter, which is the sensation of pleasure that is generated in the body by recreating a future image that represents a present pleasure. On the one hand the dopamine, on the other hand the idol that the narcissist is going to be the same as before, you will get closer again little by little and you will eat all the prizes. The narcissist there will do nothing to you. The days will pass, the narcissist will appear with another prize. The next day with another prize and the relationship will return to normal. When you feel confident, confident, vulnerable again, like a puppy and are happy again, the artist is going to give you a couple of prizes one day by passing them over the door. And when you get closer, sniffing at them and go to eat them, then he won't slap you on the muzzle with an open hand, he'll punch you with a closed fist. At the metaphorical level and at the level of emotional pain, psycho killers. Then you will be much more surprised. You will not understand what is happening and you will go to a corner of the room to cry, to be sad, thinking that you are stupid because you have fallen back into the same game. And what a coincidence, because that same afternoon, the narcissist has taken two, three, four puppies, he has put them in different rooms with the barrier so that they cannot enter the rest of the house and he is playing with them as he played with you when the relationship with you. Do you remember, Bobby? While playing with the rest of the puppies, you will wonder such things. Are the new pups better than me? Is it that maybe I'd have done wrong so that the narcissist gets angry with me, my master gets angry with me? He should not have been so submissive. He should have forgiven him much faster and taken the treats the next day as if nothing had happened. It's just that the rest of the puppies don't really know him and the narcissist is bad. And you will begin to enter a loop of thoughts while the narcissist ignores you because he is with the rest of the puppies while you listen to him and do not know how to play with you or give you prizes for the wrong. A day will pass, two days, three days, four days, a week, two weeks. Your needs will be in the room because the narcissist doesn't change them. You won't have almost any feed left to eat. You will be half dehydrated because you lack water. And the narcissist there will appear again with his smile, and he will say, forgive me, I just haven't realized that sometimes I also make my mistakes. It's just that sometimes you're a bad puppy, you get in ways that force me to behave like that. I have brought you this little toy, I have brought you this giant bone, I have brought you this gall with a rattle. You, more suspicious than before because the narcissist has already done it to you three times, will begin to wonder if he really regrets it. The narcissist will appear every day with such a bottle of water with one feed that you like more than the other, with more toys, with more bones, with more dolls. You will see that he does the same to the rest of the puppies and he is giving you envy, telling you in a subtle way that you could have the same treatment and enjoy it as much as the new puppies. And little by little, feeling locked up, imprisoned in that room, you will begin to wonder if it is true that you could be wrong and you should give the narcissist another chance. <sighs> Passing the days, thinking about it a lot, in the end you will give in and fall. The narcissist will give you all the toys, all the prizes, the rich water, and you as an innocent puppy will start to enjoy all the benefits you have again, more than the rest of the puppies. When 5, 10, 15 days go by and the artist sees you confident, he will once again put a prize of the ones you like the most above the door, with his little hand. And when you get close to him, he'll punch you again. Unlike this punch with the previous one, that since you were already in a certain way with the fly behind your ear like a puppy and an already more adult dog due to time, your unconscious and your reptilian brain have prevented you in a certain way and you will give him a morsel in his hand. <coughs> Once the narcissist receives your metaphorical morsel, which can be spoken as if you are setting a limit in real life or you were saying I won't come through here or you don't mistreat me anymore, 
he will start telling you that you are a bad dog, that you don't you deserve all the prizes he has given you, that he shouldn't have picked you up from that kennel, that the rest of the puppies are better than you and that the various previous slaps are justified because you are a bad dog. You will return to the back of the room, you will be sad, you will not understand what is happening, you will cry every night, while the narcissist continues to make his life, enjoying himself and playing with the rest of the dogs in front of you, so that you can hear him. Days will go by, more days than the first time he put you on silent treatment. And when enough days pass and the narcissist sees that you have forgotten a little about the last discussion, that you are generating dopamine inside of you again, that you are once again a little more vulnerable and a little more prepared, at that moment he will begin to give you awards. At that moment the narcissist will appear and start giving you treats again, giving you toys, putting bells on you and everything that you like as the good puppy that you are. When the narcissist sees that you are already suspicious, that you are in a corner of the room, that no stimulus makes you move and makes you trust him again, and you give him the opportunity again to be vulnerable and thus mistreat you, the narcissist will begin to consider you useless. He will stop giving you food, he will stop giving you prizes, he will stop giving you water. And when you are skinny, malnourished, dehydrated, in a corner, alone, completely isolated, the narcissist will pass by the door one day and will tell you, see if you are a dog that is not worth moving, that you are spoiled, who is in the bones, who is sad, no one would want to have a dog like you. There the narcissist will take you, give you a few slaps, put you in a sack and throw you in the middle of the street or in the garbage. Because what the narcissist likes most about a relationship is the adrenaline that the fact of knowing how many times he is able to deceive you, how many times he is able to get you to trust you despite mistreating you, generates inside him. And the longer the distance in time is and the more times they mistreat you and you feel bad and you fall into their trap again, you trust again, you become innocent again, you sacrifice yourself or yourself to instead of being with the narcissist, you give more opportunities again. The narcissist inside is filled and feels the satisfaction that no matter how badly he treats you, you will continue to be with him or her. And that excites the narcissist or the narcissist. So, psycho killer, stop being nobody's little dog or puppy and get away from a person who is mistreating you as soon as possible. No. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, activate the notification bell and do not miss this video that I leave here. If he loves you, a lot. Bye. Help.